Hey there, it's Ashley here with Create for Art, and I am painting a scene in all 50 US states. And here I am in Erie, Pennsylvania, and I am at the Presque Isle Park, and there's a sailboat. I really wanted to paint a sailboat, so I'm gonna teach you how to paint this city back here with a sailboat. Really quick, I want to give a shout out and a thank you to my Crateful Art members for making this video possible. You too can become a Crateful Art member. There's a link in the description. So for this first step, we're going to paint out the composition and make sure that we lay everything down where we want it to go. So I'm going to start with silver and my flat brush here that's a half size. And what I want to do is I don't want a whole lot of water in this this time, so I'm going to leave my water down here. And I'm just gonna sketch it out real quick with the line. And it's a horizontal line, so you have to kind of step back and make sure it's horizontal. So just to make this quick, I'm gonna take all of my silver on my one inch brush, one and a half inch brush that's flat. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the silver. Just really quick. So we're gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna put in the sky. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use my silver and some blue and I'm going to make the sky and I'm going to bring it down to where I want the city to be. And I'm just going to lay down my first color real quick up here and instead of going making it smooth, I'm going to make it choppy. I'm kind of making this blue color and I need a lot of white with that. And then come in with my silver. Make sure I got some water. Now remember, you don't have to do the colors that you see out there. You can decide to do it, but you can decide not to. So you just want to make sure that you fill in all this space with choppy color, and it doesn't really matter because it's just the underlayer. When I'm doing my sky, all I do is need to make sure that this right here is going to be lighter than what's up there and it'll look like a sky. Okay, and I'm going to bring it down, the white, right through here. Okay. And I'm not even cleaning my brush at all. the tree line that hilly tree line in the background and you're going to use gray and in, in between this color and the gray add some green in there gray just make sure that it's darker so you're not going to want as much white I reached the color it's darker and it has a gray in it okay and then I'm gonna look back there and I'm just going to make the levels Get your brush wet, and take it across, and bring that color down below. You see, because I put that white down, it actually mixes really well and blends. Okay, I'm going to make it look like there's trees by just adding some texture Hey, okay, and then when I want to do another level I go darker and drier brush and just come over here When I'm ready for the next level, I add some more dark colors to my palette. Okay, this is going to be the tree line that's closer. And I'm going to turn my brush this way so I can give it more detail.
So now you have an idea of where your tree's gonna go, your sky, and your water. So now this should be dry. So you're going to add in more detail to the water real quick. I'm gonna keep it pretty impressionistic because we have to make this fast and plus it's fun. So there's a big difference between the water color and this tree color. So you have to come in, put quite a bit of light color on your brush. And just make sure your value is right. So you'll have to experiment a little bit. Come in here. Okay, so the closer you get, the more there's going to be waves. So back here, you don't have to worry so much. Just have to go across. If you need to raise that line, go ahead. Okay, now as you go forward, you're gonna want to start doing a brush stroke kind of like this. And it's small to begin with, and then it comes and it gets bigger as you go down. So you're just taking your wrist and going back and forth. So this is just little ones right now. See how this is making it look like there's movement in the water? And I'm just using my hand like this. Okay, and as I get closer, I'm gonna be wanting to use darker colors. Like that. This is just one of the layers. So the sun is setting, which is great, because it's really pretty and there's pink on there. So I'm going to take some pink magenta and some white and I'm gonna add a little bit of pink in my clouds. Go under these white clouds right here. And then anything you add right there needs to be added into the water. So, bring in some of that pink. I'm doing that crisscross motion again. It's starting to look like water just because you're adding more layers of colors. So now what I'm doing is I'm bringing the light color from back here and I'm moving it down through here. I'm gonna let go of the water for a little bit and let that dry. And I'm gonna work on these sailboats and the city. So I'm gonna get my brush nice and clean. And I'm using this flat brush. So I'm getting that very edge building. I'm just gonna look at it and do the basic shape. And basically with buildings, you're just looking how things relate to each other that tower and then underneath it and I know that it goes up to where the mountains are in the back and then in front of it is another building so I'm just gonna come in here and put that gray part of that building down rectangular and then on the side of that building up higher is this building but if you are a Create Full Art member, there's a reference photo that I will give you. Since this is impressionistic, I'm not gonna get into all the little tiny details, but you can get as detailed as you want. Uh oh! <laughs> I'm running out of paper towels.
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my line across here is straight. It's best if everything's dry on here. Okay, so for this last step, you step back and you see if there's anything that needs to change. You put in more details and you can put in the lights that are back here. Whatever you want to do, be creative and make it your own. Oh, that's so cool. We got wood. Thank you so much for creating with me. A special thank you to all the Grateful Art members listed here who helped make these videos possible. You too can become a Grateful Art member. There's a link in the description and there's lots of perks if you do. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!